And here's one more variation of the, uh, the artwork during the, the loading time of the game. And hey folks, welcome back to Manor Lords. Last episode, we I kind of forgot about Gimli. So I thought maybe I'd better start over here this time. Um, yeah. Since last episode, I did come back into the game and went back over to Samwise and worked through all those extra families and figured out where everybody needed to go. Over here, we were playing with needing some houses. That's right, we set up three. And we set up some fields. See, we couldn't get just a quick run of uh, uh, Samwise and running out of food. A quick run of, of bread out of Gimli through a farm in here and the small stable. I want to say that was already there, so we're just going to upgrade it. Um, one over here as well? Yeah, upgrading this one. You guys are on... Um, let's get you on the highest priority. That one. Well, no, take it back. You go back to medium. Let's get the one over here in the highest priority. Very high. And because I want the farm. No, I wanted a house. That's right. You are the highest, just in case we get ahead of ourselves by a house. And uh, before March hits and who knows. Anyway, so you guys are building and... I wanted to play with another big vegetable garden. Kind of like the one that I uh, talked about a couple episodes ago that Tacticat Cat was, was exploring and playing with as far as, as, as making the system bend to your own will. <laughs> Over here, I set up this diagonal road here to try to force kind of a triangular shape and it did a pretty decent job. We're more than half vegetable compared to housing. Let's see if we can do anything better than that um, without using the, the, the same system. Can it be done in any other way? So house, I think it works best to start in a corner. That seems to be uh, a smart move. So what happens if I just, I don't know, take you up to a point like this? Doesn't work. Okay, so let's do the opposite. Pull out you to you and... Let's go upwards, like so. Pull out a little bit so we can see it. Looks like that's about the best we're going to get from that point. But what if we have a shorter or longer run to you and up? So move you around. No changes. But we're doing something right there. I guess I'm moving out. Okay, so let's go further. All the way out to here. What have we got? Then let's try using the other angle um, from here to here. And something just happened up there. Uh, we're still February. Um, from this point on up. Ooh, that's better. Got, or is it? I'm trying to remember now. Let's come back just a touch. Now, let's go further up. Make a little bit longer run right here. So our entrance is going to be the side road not going to be the main road down there okay that's looking a little more interesting we got broken up into two lots as I pull away we've got more garden and less housing compared to over here so if I were to do that and hit minus that's not bad that's not bad it's a big lot. It's going to take a lot of work to, to harvest that many vegetables but this could, this could be our first tier 3 over here to give them more help Let's go with that one. All right, you're there. What did I miss? There was a... Oh, there's more families still coming in. Um, yeah, Gandalf is going to continue to get family members, like, forever. Until uh, all of those battle losses come back. Okay. So, I'm running, and we have several houses to be built. This one... Mm, this one should be right after the farm. The farm is high, medium... Let's take you down to less than medium and less than medium. Like there low. What did I hit there low? And maybe this will get done in time to get some vegetables started. Um, I did need to play with more market stalls and more uh, wells over here. So let's, we're in housing right there. Wells are this whole area. We've got a well... 
there. All these thump thumps, they worry me. What's going on in the background? Wells could be... You know, I'm going to kind of spam the wells. I saw Halfwit Brit's episode where he got four lightning strikes in the same town and the place burnt down. So I, I'm going to I'm gonna make lots of wells. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to learn from his, uh, his, his, his hardship over there. And so we've got some foods over here at stalls. Let's get a food stall like thing over here in the middle and then another one out over in here. I think that's a wise move. You, I think right next to the the well is a good place. Let's go a little bit further. There's one, two, three spaces, or three spaces that way. Uh, pull back just a touch. Two and three. Okay, let's go forward a touch. That's four. Ah, that'll work. And let's put one more in over here, just to the other side. Can I go all the way in like so I think I can there's three spaces all right so there's a three four and a three for markets in between all of the the housing is going to be in, in this area let's go see what's up in Samwise and any more construction finished sheep farm oh okay and there's what was that a burgage plot in Gandalf how's our food over here now we're at two months instead of one so that means that these guys have been been hauling in the meats. No, that means that these guys actually got employed and they've been hauling in the meats. So I have a feeling just sitting over here doesn't really count into the system until it's officially in storage or you know you know available for the for the citizens to actually go and get. Are we in Samwise? We're in Samwise. All kinds of more noises. Gimli just finished a small stable. Oh, okay, back to Gimli. That's important. Small stable? I think it is. No, it's not. We're, we're broke. Never mind. <laughs> um, all right, so Samwise. What can we be doing over here? I want to start working with Tier 3s. Um, I did turn on both the taverns at the end of last episode. So if I click on a Tier 2, we've got... We're happy with that we need a better church ah and we have stone now so that could be done right it could be yep we're good so pop you in there it goes that was a uncomfortably long delay and three families working and another one to show up here real soon we'll call that good well actually maybe not um yeah okay we don't need a sheep farmer until we've got a livestock trader so that's fine what else built over here and we have a worker here that's empty and i always keep forgetting to look at that symbol right there these guys hate me so you are needing a better oh, sorry we pulled out the two trees over here just to kind of clean things up any more dropped trees nearby that need to be cleaned up or do we get back into uh, whole scale logging um let's hit this and emmer and flax. So flax is happening over here. I think we'll leave those trees just yet. They look good over there. Um, <clears throat> other flax. We could do a little flax thing right here. We could. So let's let's do that. That's our next goal for you guys. Is advanced. I lost it already, didn't I? Yeah. I, I need to. I need to memorize that. So you are flax. So you are from this road and a circle right in there. All right. Now back to you and you and you and pretty much, yep, yeah, that'll do right there. So you guys are set. That box goes away. Otherwise, we were Gandalf. All kinds of family members are joining, which means our army should be coming back to life. 26 of, 20 of, and 13 of is not coming back very quickly. That's for sure. We have... We only have 13 spears. Oh, that's why. And pull arms, we have 20 pull arms. Okay, that's making sense. And the bows, we should have plenty of bows. Well, I thought we did. Are they moving over here? War bows, 25. They moved over here. Because I did not build the Fletcher, right? I just built a joiner. I built a joiner. Did not build the Fletcher. So we've got war bows coming over, and the pack stations are doing all the work. And. Wow, they're, they're working. So we moved over some large shields. We don't need any more of those. So let's stop that from happening. Large shields are... They're kind of all over the place. You are... Those... What else do I need over there? What else do I need over there? In place of 
of shields will be what? Um, spears coming over faster? No, no, because I need them. So pole arms coming over. No, I need them here too. Yeah, I need to fill these ranks back up again before we actually need them. That is March. Okay, so tell you what, how about we just uh, I'm gonna pause it for a moment so I can think about uh, what March means. How about we just pull families out? We're very wise. We are not great, but we're about to start our own. And we've, we've got a decent amount of food over here now. Decent enough. Okay. And monies, we've got some. The trader has not been selling anything. We're at 500 two episodes ago. We're at 400 and something last episode. And we're in the threes. And the trader has not been adding to any of this. I don't think we're actually buying anything. So, although we're, we are clipping off taxes each time, there is that. But, I don't know. Anyway, let's save the pull arms. Let's just say no family. Because saying no barter doesn't work. Go back. Was it this one? Samwise. So, one more time. No barter. And this one. Samwise. So, minus. And we're going to keep our pull arms here. We don't need the berries just yet. Uh, keep our spears here as well. Flax coming over is important, but we do have enough to get ourselves going. Over here, it's just pole arms and and uh, oh, war bows. Yeah, we've we've got a lot of them moved over there now. So pull you out as well, and you, you guys. Yep, yeah, and we'll we'll get these up and going again. But I want to make sure that these guys have got enough weapons to start rebuilding. I'm pretty sure we have more families present now more soldiers present now than we have weapons to to log them into their their respective militia so yeah i think we'll just pause all that for now it is march it is time to do some kind of gardening um farming but what does that mean c and emmer and the greens never came back and never did so we're a half a year fallow and it made no difference. We could do a little something out over here just to have a little bit of a bread flowing into the system out over here. Or we could spend the time to put these in for not much return. Since we've taken the perk, the policy to cut our fields in half in exchange for twice the animals, um, it doesn't make sense to work on it if it's not at least green. So maybe we'll do something over here in September. Maybe we'll get that one going. In fact, let's kind of plan for that. And we'll just we'll just farm that one little area for here. Um, you guys advance. A lot of families working. Uh, no question marks and so no uh, work areas not available. Let's take you and go to that area that I didn't memorize. So you and Emmer. And there you are. So the charcoal kiln to the you guys and an oval. All right. So I wanted... Who? You? You are the logging camp. Advanced. And you. Oh, it stayed this time. How did that manage to happen? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll take it and I'll say thank you. You. Yeah, we'll, we'll pull. This is all plus one and that's plus two. I guess we could pull a little more out of that. Something like that. Okay. You guys work over there. How are we doing uh, storage-wise? That's a large store storehouse. There you go. Logging camp. Can we pull out of this? Thank you. Logging save. Logging camp. Zero of. We are using it all up. Okay. So three families are doing that. We are how far into this? 15 minutes. By now, everybody should have gone and picked up all of their shields. Now, you're transporting a large shield. They spend the first 15 minutes just moving their, their large shields and their, their spears around. But I think for the most part, waiting... Ah, you're moving your spear around. They're still doing it. They must have been off doing something, and then they finally came home to to reestablish their uh, their armor. I, I don't know their 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 weaponry. So there's nothing to do over here as far as farming goes. We have seven families. What does that mean? Um, meats, 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 meats. Right here. We are still full. So storage wise, two of. So we can we can. No, it's right here. Zero of. Okay. Put you in. Zero of. We can put you in. And you. Same thing. So our our granary folks are actually doing their job now. Um, I didn't miss a message about 
uh, bandit camps or anything like that, right? No, there were times when there were noises and I wasn't able to look. Treasuries moved, uh, a little bit of tithe is moved, and that's about it. Okay, so our little dudes are over there, and I, I take it that they're fine. Okay, good. So, four families left. I don't know of anything building around here. The last time I forgot to point this out. we That's how many we were able to get in before either the bodies, you know, despawned or something. So that's the beginning of our graveyard over here in Gandalf. What needs to be done right now? We were filling these guys up. Are we there? We're almost there, so we need to put more houses in. Okay. How to pull that off? Do I pull off one more massive vegetable garden over here just for fun? And I want to work on tier 3 houses over here. But I need to get back over there too. So, so much to do. <laughs> um... It's kind of a mess over here, but kind of an interesting mess. The ends of these aren't all lined up right. Kind of feels, I don't know, a little more real. Road, let's come off of here and just kind of work our way around and through and tap into there. Okay. Um, our tier twos over here, that's something we could be doing. That's right, I do remember that I wanted to bring all of you guys up. What are we missing? We are so out of logs. Why are we so out of logs? What are you guys doing? People. If you ever need to figure out what's going on, make sure to hit people. You can see what they're all debranching, they're all felling, so they're all working on the new area. But I think we are overwhelmed with planks right now, so let's pull you out and let's pull you out. Okay. This people, this ox can load you guys back up again and you'll be ready for next time. Then they won't have anything to do here, they'll be out there hauling trees in for these guys and helping them out and that will speed things up so i can't make a bunch of tier twos right now can i can i make even one i can make one okay you're in and oh okay i guess we just debranched enough trees in bulk all at the same time to count for something all right so there's still seven families oh i pulled out the i pulled out the planks the saw pits okay what else can you guys be doing there's no more upgrades here right now so no more upgrades. We don't have any flour, any wheat in the system, so nothing to do with you. We still have flour in the system. Yeah, so you guys are still employed. Great. Um, real quick, I'm going to pause because I, I want to make sure there's nothing that March means over in Samwise, but this has taken a while. I pulled you out of the livestock trader. I'm 600. We finally made a sale. Okay. Do we have any more sheep i have not been able to raise a single lamb where am i get out of my face there i am you four of and zero it is not they're not making babies over here they are truly not i've got the perk and it's not doing anything we've been several episodes now with at least two sheep Unless there's some kind of a rule now that you've got to have 10 sheep before it works. I didn't read that in the update notes, but who knows? There were a lot of update notes. Let's bring in 10 sheep. Let's bring in... We brought in 10 lambs last time. And we still have 2 lambs. So the, the, the growth rate is not that quick. Um, Do we bring in 20s? We are importing at 20, and we're importing at 30, I see. Let's bring in till we have 8. Let's do that. I want 8 lambs total. You guys, you guys, go off and figure that out. I don't need it in at a fast rate, so you can take your time. By then, the other two will have grown up, and maybe four is the magic number to start making babies. Okay, am I kind of done over here? Um, I want to put one more person to work somewhere. What are we lacking? We have plenty of... Let's get some more charcoal going. Let's do that. Let's put one, two, three in there. Get you guys up and running and see what this group can make. Firewood is sitting over here. Plenty of it. It's not a long run. You can just go back and forth and make it happen. And I've got you guys set to not wasting your time. Click on... Oh, I don't. Okay. No wasting your time on there. You guys are not wasting your time. Oh, you, you guys aren't an option. 
and you aren't an option. Okay. Firewood was down in this area. You're like right over here. And you are turned off too. Firewood is fine. We don't need any more. Okay. I think we're done over here. Oh, I'm exhausted. Over here in Samwise, turn you back on. We had set up three fields, five fields, three fields. So all three crops besides, what is that, that fourth one I always forget, besides rye, is, is already set up and running. Am I running? I am running. Nobody's moving. There we are. So we've got... Just dawned to me, it's March of year five. No hint of the royal tax yet. So I wonder when that hits. End of year five? One month into year five? To make us feel like we got away with it? And then there they are. <laughs> We've got four families over here. We are building the livestock trader. So I don't need to do anything with farming over here. We're going to wait till September to harvest. Hopefully, or maybe August to harvest. By then, we should get some uh, some some full ones. Um, there's no reason why anything is set to your fallow to force early. You guys, actually, you are fallow. So, what was that? Gimli hunting camp is finished. Okay, we put a second hunting camp in there. Uh, farmhouse is finished. Gimli is where we need to be working right now. Okay, so I'll pause till I can get over there. Um, I wanted to check to see if... Can you go away? There we go. If these fertilities ever came back. Flax was over here. And we don't, we're not going to see any more of the dark greens. We're starting to lose it over here because it's growing. So no dark green is returned. All the yellows did leave though. Except for that little spot. So there has been improvement. We'll wait till, the, till September. Wait till the full year. Just to verify it. But so far it looks like that's not returning. Uh, barley was this entire area through here that's why we drew this curved road and we're using it in here we're ready for next year and whatever happens in here i guess we'll pull the trees out of here as soon as we see our next gray question mark but i'm i don't know what this is there was a field here so it's quite possible we'll get something back right there but yeah and then emmer was this entire outside curve right here that's why these fields were in place and they're not there anymore okay so yeah the update did nerf the the fertility and some of it apparently we're not getting back okay so with that i wanted to do what let's just i was going to put one of those big vegetable plots in each of the the towns so we can kind of watch their progress but let's go work with Gimli. While there's still a lot of March left, the farm just got finished. Got to get my bearings over here at the UR. We do have two families. We do have still some more construction. I think. Yeah, we have houses to put in. So I can't use all of them. I can put in one. Food is hurting, so I don't dare touch that. We don't need more firewood, though. But I think I've already emptied firewood. Uh, Woodcutter's Lodge. I did. Yeah, we have plenty brought in. So you are not a thing. Tannery? We tan, tan, tan there. We have more leather than we know what to do with right now. So you can come out. Um, and in another few weeks, we're going to start doing berries. Um, hunting, though, we could take one out of the hunter because we're using it faster than the animals can, can repopulate right now. Heck, we are. wonder why that is. Oh, because I didn't take the policy over here. That's why it's different than the other one. Okay, so you're done. All right then, so with that, I've got at least two more families to play with. Okay, and we're just dealing with Emmer in here, so I can go ahead and set... Let's set all four of you up. Well, we're not going to get much, because it's only half a year. Hmm. Let's leave two... Let's just do two fields. We'll leave two fields, because I did set up four, right? Uh, wheat, pull away, and how do I see them? There? Mm, there. Okay. So one, two, three, four. We did. So I probably should start working on taking out these trees. And then in September, 
we'll do all of this and these two for a big harvest the next September. Yeah, these two will just kind of satisfy us for the year. Okay, so three families should be more than enough to take care of these two half Morgans. All right, you are set. Turn you on. We're not going to deal with uh, plowing over here. They can go and plow it by hand. Okay, so that's good. And we are working on this one. Not. Um, we need money. We need money. How do we do that? We could make some tier twos. They'll be unhappy for a while, but that'll give us a, a small trickle. Or we get our, our uh, trading post in, and we find something to trade over to Gandalf and bring some coins in here. Kind of like that. Now, this is all crops. Is this crops over here? Um, C, Emmer. Yeah, we can get into here. Family member joins. We can go a little further away. King's Road over here. Uh, trading is going to come out of... Probably here. Probably. There's a lot of weaving to get over to that one. This is probably our trading area right here. So, what is that? That is rain or snow? It kind of looks like rain. But it's pretty dense like snow. Hmm. Wet snow. So you are into here. Let's make the very next one a trading post. Next base. And we'll do more housing it down on this side over here. So trading is monies? Yeah, the gold, the coins right there. You are a trading post. And we do want eventually livestock trading posts in here too. I think we'll put sheep in all of them. Whether or not they... What was that clunk? Did Gimli just get a point? Uh, you are... I'm snapped to road. That's why it did that. Can I do this? Uh... Let's leave room for a road. And I don't mind that being a little crooked and back a little bit. We'll do that. Okay. That road comes up and crosses over too. That road is what? That's not a road. That's a backyard door. That's what that is. That's the back gate. Okay. So, a plot with three sides gives you the ability to manipulate things enough to pull this off. Okay, so am I done over here? Um, trading post to bring in some funds, to bring in some more some more uh, oxen. Otherwise, you guys are building. You've got pull away. You've got, once we get into April, we'll shift somebody over to berries. We've got enough meat to hold us for a little while. We've got enough firewood to hold us a little while. I think we're done. Okay, so where am I now? What's been happening? Uh, policies, family members, family members. We're not losing our weapons anymore, so these numbers should start to climb a lot quicker. And they seem to be 30. We were at 30, 30, and 27 before that war. Okay. Speaking of wars, at least go and look at our little dudes. They're over here. It's not my province, so I can't do what, uh, what Simidium did. Simi built a uh, hunting camp in here and gave them a uh, uh, nice little... little uh, tented area for them to uh, to get in and at least you know make it look like they have a, a place to uh, to call home while they're out here on their in their outposts but we don't own this province there's another save so I don't have the ability to do that it's still a neutral province interesting how that worked out he paid us and none of us got it that was wild so yeah I'm, I'm gonna stay over here for a while and until I've got at least our military back to where it was when all that chaos hit. Speaking of chaos, I had something real interesting happen this afternoon. And is there anything I can be looking at while we're talking? Um, yeah, we'll just we'll just park into here because I'm I'm not a good multitasker, so I won't be able to click on things and make make uh, wise decisions while I'm telling a story. But I got some pains this afternoon in my right kidney area and it was strange I've had that before you know wake up in the middle of the night kind of an ache back there and it's really because you're you're dehydrated and your kidneys having a little trouble big glass of of water and and everything goes away but this time it didn't go away and after about a half hour but it just kept getting worse and worse and I finally shut down my business and went upstairs and and uh 
Uh, in fact, let me go into this mode. I'm telling you this in case any of you have had, had experience with kidney stones. Maybe you can give me some advice. I, I still don't know if that's what it was, though. But oh, this is kind of neat. Just kind of running our, 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 our noble drone through the, uh, through the provinces. But I drank a bunch of water did some research and they said that for kidney stones there's not much you can do or what they tend to do first is just um, uh, drink lots of water and take some some Tylenol and wait till it passes kind of a thing unless it's too big to pass then it gets a little complicated but the symptoms I was having were kind of like a kidney stone they were saying I was I was getting pain in that back uh, lower right back and then kind of wrapping around to the front and it started to go into nausea as the pain really ramped up and cold sweats, a little bit of a fever. When I looked up uh, the symptoms for kidney stones, they said those are all part of the symptoms. So, but there were a lot of other symptoms that I didn't have. So everything beyond the kidney was fine. There's no you know, blood in the urine or anything like that. And the pain was pretty much isolated to back there. And, but it got it got intense. It got to where I was panting. I was I was trying to uh, stave off labor pains. I mean, it was it was intense enough to to make me nauseous, enough to just put me into a cold sweat. And um, finally, I was I was getting to the point where I was wondering if I needed to go to the emergency room. And and I told my son about it, so he knew what was happening. He was he was home today. And I'm guessing he prayed for me. That's that's my guess, because within a couple of minutes after telling him, the pains went away. At least they went down to, if the peak was up around a 7 or an 8 out of 10, that's about where it was. It was really hurting. He went down to like a 1. And then it just kind of held there for a while. And after a while, it finally went away. So... It didn't have some of the other symptoms that they say to expect, which makes me wonder, is it possible that it could have been trapped gas? Where's Gimli at? Where is Gimli at there? No, Gimli's this direction, somewhere in here. There we go. So trapped gas in the lower intestine, right up or, or upper intestine, somewhere up, up against that, that corner, that, that, that bend right near the, the kidney might have put some pretty intense pains right into that spot too. So now it's completely gone. And I'm wondering if it was a kidney stone that had started moving. I've never had kidney stones before. So it's, this is all guesswork. Does it just stop until it has finished its journey? I would think not yet. It's now gone. So I don't know what to make of that. So less coffee, more water for the next couple of days and just kind of make sure these guys are doing the plowing good. But yeah, that was that was a wild ride. I mean, it was intense. It was uh, it was knock me off my feet and make me dizzy kind of pain, which is what I've heard kidney stones are like. But I expected it would be a little closer to the bladder area, not just concentrating back there in the kidney and then never really moving beyond that point. So any of you have had experiences with those, can it come and go like that? Is that just a kidney stone moving from one part of the kidney to the other, not actually exiting yet? That's the only logic I can come up with about why it went away without continuing and finishing his journey. But that's enough of that. I'll, I'll tap your guys' collective knowledge on the subject and, and move on. Um, out of this mode, and where am I at recording-wise? Only 36 minutes? Wow. I'm, I'm impressed. I don't normally look over there, and it's 59, and I haven't done anything. Okay, so many family members. So was there a way? There was a way to see the family members. What was that? Was it here? Yeah, so there's 62 of 36. What does that mean? Of 36 what? I think that means that I have room for 36 more in those three militias, and there's 62 available to fill those spots. And they're not filling because we just don't have the weapons yet. That kind of makes sense. So that means we could throw together another um, platoon, another militia if we wanted to. Um, I don't know what I would do. I guess we could try 
a militia footman. So the footmen are the sidearms, is that right? We have... Let's, let's try that. Let's see what happens. Militia footman. Oh, that's Samwise. Wait, wait, where am I? No, 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 no. So, I was over here. So, 62 of 36. I thought it was in Gandalf. Over here, we have red numbers. What does that mean? So, we have... 108 slots available and not enough to fill them so why are there so many sidearms over here what, are, what was I looking at I was looking at 22 41 I guess I was looking at spears I was looking at spears okay so that doesn't count so I'm I don't have enough of these yet I don't have enough of these yet we do have enough of these now this should be full uh, it's not. So, it's not full because we don't have 108. I guess that's what I'm seeing. Okay, so we'll just let you go for a while. Alright, we'll figure that out maybe next episode. Let's spend this episode... Burgish plots, Burgish plots, Burg Gandalf, Gandalf, Burgish plots. Burg oh, upgrading. We did these. Let's get you upgraded. Let's get you upgraded. And monies wise, we're still doing decent. They're they're actually selling things now. So let's think about some tier threes. What does that really mean? Some tier threes would help these guys get the vegetables in faster. We could make that one of our first tier threes, sure. So we have all that we need too. All right, I want to do this before the uh, this round of beer of of ale runs out. You are 24 ale left. So let's put... What are we looking at to get to the point? We only need three. The next one I think is 10. So dare we try to put in 10. 10 times 25 is 250 gold. And a whole bunch of other stuff. So we'll see how far we can go. What are the logical ones to do? You are a tier 1. Let's make you a tier 2. In plan to get some extra help on these vegetable plots. So Gimli just finished a well, make you a tier two, which means I'm using up all my logs. Because tier threes, tier threes, tier threes, you need four logs and eight planks. So we are only one tier three left. Okay, so let's go concentrate on a tier three. Tier three is gonna give us twice the amount of families in these tier twos. So let's help the blacksmith out first. You're going to go there. And we have three families doing the work. We are not in April, so I don't need berries yet. Um, you are Burgage Burgage Brewery. I don't have enough barley in the system yet to need help to do the brewery yet. So, Joiner, Joiner, now Fletcher. Of the two, it would be... Actually, it would be the tailor if we're going to do one. Yeah, it would be the tailor. So I am lacking two logs, and that usually doesn't take that long. In fact, something just happened right there. Is that anything? It is. Okay. So tailor, and take you up. All right. So those are my tier threes in there. That's... What I do of them? Three of them? Four of them? Uh, tab. You are... So I want that symbol right there. One two three if i've got them right i thought it was here all right there four and there's one over there five i think over there six no because some of those some of those are tier twos okay so i think there's three in there i think there's three and there's three tier twos being worked on so that's over there over here what are we doing as far as um tier threes we're doing this guy which means i should not have spent our ale yet yeah so ale left 21 okay planks 17 let's get planks going and that's one of you and we have one in there let's put two in there and we're going to be needing berries here soon foods over here nine months and in general, lots of meat, lots of berries, lots of bread. So we're fine over there. Over here, foods in general are lots of meats, lots of vegetables, lots of eggs. 
No bread. Why are there no bread? So we have a lot of houses eating it. So they must be eating it as fast as the... Where are you? Well, right there. As fast as these guys are making it. You've got one in stock there. There is nothing in here. We've got 36. What are you guys doing? Are you running a booth? You're running a booth. Let's turn you off, back out, and put you back in. Okay. No longer running a booth. People, you are all transporting. And someone else can run the booth. Yeah, you and here. You guys, we got four of those and four of those. And who? It'd be you guys that are also running the firewood and the clothing. So that might be a problem. Having the tanner run clothing is probably not a bad idea because the tanner rarely gets behind. Tanning, tanning, that's you, right? There we are, 31 leather. Oh, you do get behind. Okay, one of you in there. Okay, you need some help. Okay. So we're still fine, shoes-wise, right? Shoes, I want to say that's a commodity. 300 and some shoes. We could be sending shoes over here. Let me think here. We did not put in a cobbler, did we? What did we put in that first one? We put in a brewer. Brewer and a joiner. So shoes over here would be would definitely be advantageous. Okay, so let's get ourselves going again. Um, remind me once again. 74 berries and... Flax. Flax is what we need. Hit the wrong button there. Come on. Get my fingers in the right place. We need flax. So let's do two runs of flax for shoes. And kind of get these guys up and running again. Though flax is over here. No. No, shoes. Shoes, shoes. Shoes are over here. So it needs to be you doing... Let's see. We're sending shoes. We're bringing back flax. Family in. So we are going to need families again. Okay, turn you back on, and you as well. You will be shoes, you will be flax, put a family in. Alright, so who can I pull out as far as families? And do we have any progress over here? Now we are five. So we're going to have ten total when all the trading is done. So if we end up with more than ten sheep, then we know we actually grew one. Storage is full in Gimli, got to get over there next. Alright, so... Winds are coming in, lightning storm coming, and I could still get one or two more tier threes if we have more logs. So which ones are those going to be and why? And it might be interesting to watch one of these tier threes build. Look at the fence going in. Ooh. And I'm not sure what you are. Um Yeah. This was not a double lot. I don't think it was. So it's not like it's a second house. What are you? Huh. Okay. Where else do we make a tier three? And why? Do we go back to the idea of the gardens? Maybe that would be wise. Then I won't worry about about uh, there being a, a market stall associated with one of these properties. Make you... That's right, I couldn't because I didn't have enough logs to do Tier 2s and Tier 3s. Okay. So I had to choose. So you got done. And let's just get... Where's the biggest one? Right here. Get you done. So you are going to be a Tier 2. Eventually you'll be a Tier 3. Okay. So that is that. That means a lot more people to drink beer. Yeah, the more of these tier twos you get, the more costly it's going to become. We need to get barley coming back in. Barley over here right now is still 76. We're doing pretty good. There's no barley left over here. We ran it dry. That's right. So they've got all of it. This is the place that's going to run dry. Do we tier three anything? We did get the church done. And right there. Burgage plot, burgage plot. Tithes paid. We're in April. Uh, somewhere in here, I should say. A small church. There we go. So, Gimli's got problems over there, too. Um, so, too much is happening at once. Shoes are going to be coming in. Shoes are going to satisfy that second, secondary uh, need for clothing soon. So, I don't think we have the ability. Are we really out of booze now? Did we run the course? Now there's 17 left. Let's save it until we can actually use it and make some tier threes. So, pull a family out of there. Save the rest of the beer. Okay, so in that case, um, no, not in that case. I need to also get a forger. I need berries going here. Uh, two berries. Two over here. 64. 
I think we can almost three over here. I think we can almost outpace or this thing will almost outpace us while it's growing. If I remember right. Now let's let's find out. So I need boy, I need three over here. Then we need to get back over to Gimli and kind of finish over there. Where can I get at least four families out of this place? I need the logs to make the other thing. I guess it's charcoal. So do we have any charcoal? We have three charcoal. And I assume that means that we have been dumping charcoal into the system. We have 27 charcoal, but they're all going into the stalls. You guys are doing what? You are going home. Charcoal burner. Okay, you're fine. Um, no other lines? Four lines for, for nine people. Interesting. The rest are just a mystery. Going home, crafting. Oh, so you're sitting over here. That's why. And we've got a mule over here. She's kind of stuck. Yeah, she's... Yeah, okay, we're fine. Got a, an ox over here who's gathering. Oh, you are loading up with charcoal, I'm guessing. But you're waiting for it to complete? I don't know what's happening there. Let's pull just one of you out. We'll do that. Or else can I steal some? So, firewood, let's pull you out. We're, we're well ahead on firewood right now. And where can I get, let's see, berries. Let's get just, I guess, two berries going. You guys, no, boy, I do want the three. I really want the three. And I have a feeling we're going to be putting out a fire here pretty soon. Um, we're going to get one more family, and I don't want to touch the trader. Where can I get one? Is nobody left in the church? No. Um, there's not a lot of choices. There really isn't. We've got our bloomery, and that's important. I don't know if we... Do we still have any ore? Clay, ore, we still have it, so... We're still surviving without running anybody in these. Lightning's getting close. Um... I guess I'm just stopping there? You're done, you're done. We're gonna be out of planks here soon. 20 planks left. Yeah, there's never enough people. There's nobody in the farm, right? That's just not a mistake I've made. No, you're fine. Livestock trader, I need... Okay. I guess there's not a whole lot more I can do there. Gimli, I gotta spend time with you. Gimli's over here. Any hint of fire? Anything that I missed? No. No hint of fire. And Gimli's over in this side. So, Gimli has lots of wells. Do we have a well over here? In case we burn this place down. You are a small stable still under construction. And we don't have a well over here. Really? Okay, let's do that real quick. Gimli houses well. Okay, we can't. So, closest run will be over here. And a run in like that, I guess, closest right there. Okay, you're in there. And I suppose, do we future proof anything? Over here would be wise. Although the farm buildings over here, I don't think the, I don't think the field, fields can burn down. I've never heard of that as a thing. Uh, if it is, let me know. Um, okay, that's Wells. Now we had a storage full, and what did that mean? We also need to get a hunter back in, right? Food, we're back down to two months, and pull away. Food is eight. We need berries. We need berries badly. So you. Right off the bat, you get two families. So who can we raid over here? We already raided the firewood. We we have one in the granary, one in the storehouse. We have one in the tannery. The hunting camp. Hunting camp. Tannery. We have none in the tannery. So we have a hunting camp. That's it. We have families. We're done. You are done. You are done. That's what it was. Okay. Minus, minus, minus. All right, we're up and running again. So one more hunter. One more hunter. Storage was full. It wasn't this storage, and it wasn't that storage. So we will do that. And one more over here for berries. Three berries. Three berries. Okay. So those will all be a thing. There's one family left building. Whatever it is, there's left to build like this. And saw pit. Planks. 20 planks. That gives us a church. That finally gives us a church. So church is where? Up the hill? Up the road here? Yeah. 
right up in here. So church and right there and too steep, but not in this direction. Build with the contour and you usually get away with things. Though, what's it look like? Actually, not bad. It just goes up the back of the building a little bit. Okay, so that's not too harsh. So you're here instead of turning the other way. Um, then let's take you in a little bit closer to this road. No, I want the I want the main road. I'll put you right in here on the curve, and we'll make that work. Okay. Last noise was uh, Samwise Forger Hut. They need stall space. Okay. And no assigned families for guiding the ox here, and we do now. And burgage plot. There'll be a lot of burgage plots. That's a level three though. Let's go over there. You're done. Wow. Let's do our little our little dude thing. There we go. Wow. That is quite the uh, quite the structure. Yeah, we've got our our log porch over here. Not our, our hewn timber porch. That's interesting. So, we got dormers up in there. So, there is a floor up in that roof. And I think we got real windows over here, right? Yeah, real windows up there. And uh, we've got the outhouse. Or as Simi calls it, the thunderbox. Yeah, and you... Well, it's not a hole in the floor. So, maybe there is a pot on the floor. I guess that's possible. The, I think all these buildings have an outhouse somewhere. They're right up in there. Uh, that one is actually a hole in the floor. Okay, well, it's over here by the uh, by the garden, I guess. Yeah. I'm not going to go there. Let's see. Can I? I can't. Yeah, I can't jump the fence. Nope, no jumping the fence. All right, let's get up in here. And where am I at now? 50... Mid-50s. Firewood's coming in. And let's pull out of there. And what else is going on in this town? Um, you are the first uh, tier threes. You are. You're the large granary. Next tier three is probably this guy. And tier twos are happening. Do we want any more? Do, can we put any more tier threes in? Which ones will they be? Not going to be any of the farm ones for quite a while. Okay. That's not a thing. Um, new families will be moving into these tier 3 plots. So there's that to think about. Now they're, they're going to suddenly have a new space over here. In fact, we can see that, right? Tab 3 families. Is that, no, level 3, 2 families. And this is a double, so this will, the next two are going to go into here. Okay. So, do we want new spaces going in? Let's see if I can't throw one of those unusual farm plots in. Hold on a minute. So let's just throw a road randomly out there. Three sides. And let's just see what happens. I'm curious. Pull out of you. Give me a house. And let's just try it in different orientations. See what works. If you're going to... The, uh, let's go a little further. There to there. And then wrap our way around as far as it will let me. Like so. Okay, so... Now, it's having a problem because we're out of wood. Oh, really? No, wait a minute. Grip? Why are you not clicking? Because it's jumping a road somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's, doing a, it's doing a funny thing. Okay. Now, let's go from here to here. And then come across and play with this one. Okay. Actually, that's pretty good right there. Yeah, not much room given to housing right there. If I minus you again, we will do something kind of funky. Okay, so there is that. Let's pull back by one and take it to... The road's not long enough. Let's grab just a little bit more length of road. There to there. Now, I don't know if a road in two pieces is going to have a weird little dot thing going on there. Let's find out. So we did... We did here to there and then we went up and wrapped around as far as it would let us all the way to there now we come back in what do we get it's trying to jump the road here that's what's going on is it's 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 not hitting the right points that's what's turning it orange okay so let's go from here to here come out like so and then fire off over here okay does that help us any not really so that doesn't work 
So yeah, it's just a matter of experimenting. You just spend your time exploring. So two houses there and a great big garden. Pull in a little more. I don't know what's going to happen with that house. Be curious to see that happen. That looks like the best one right there. So I don't know if the house is physically going to sit there or if it's just representing that there will be a house there because of the limited space. It, the graphic is drawn there even though it's going to be over here. But I think we'll go with that one. So put you in. And I wanted to do that over in Samwise as well. And that will probably... We, Work area is empty. You. Okay. So I noticed it this time. So you need to now go where? We cleared out for a flax area, right? You need a family assigned. Let's do that. And it was flax? Yeah, we cleaned out right here. So barley. Any other areas to clean up just for this? Yeah. Let's send you guys over here now. So gardening, farming is our priority for this whole province so that's got to be our priority for our logging camp too so you are pretty much all in there and it's staying okay so advanced and you for some reason i did something wrong that first time and i could not get it to stay so you are essentially there yeah i think so we'll touch a little further into there i will do that you're right there now so you're good and if I were to do one more of those plots in Samwise, how and where and why? Um, you are barley. So you're a potential future barley field. Flax isn't. Emmer is everywhere. So I can't base anything on that. We were playing with this little space here. That's not going to work. And I don't know that this curve is going to stay because this field's going away. As soon as I determine that it really is not going to return. Which is in September. So this road goes away. It maybe tightens up over here and we get a bigger area. Um, actually, it could go away right now. It could. Okay. Then road, alt, you, remove. And you remove, you remove, you remove. All right. Blank canvas. Now what do we got? We've got a farmhouse here. We've got a farmhouse there. So we're a little ways away. So what's over in this area? Um, you and Emmer Flax Barley. This area is available. It is. So let's throw a road in behind here. Yeah. Something like that. And that does stay. That's permanent. And a third road. Let's, let's tighten it over here and go off in this direction. Okay, now let's grab a house. What happens if we play with this? If we go this point down and then work our way all the way up and all the way up. We're doing the the funky road thing for some reason. So that is that is rather frustrating. It's not liking the points, and it somehow thinks the road is in the middle of the points. Hmm. Pull back one point over here. Does it, it still does it. Okay, we're going to go this direction then. Work our way up like that and come across. So that doesn't do us very well at all. Okay, that's a fail. Let's go from here into there and go up. And okay, so doesn't help the housing at that much. Pull a little lower and come up at this angle. No. Okay. Let's go from here. Let's go a little further. There down. Boy, you did not like that. So from there all the way up. That's that's just weird. <laughs> um, okay. We can kind of force it around these other points, but that's not helping either. Okay. A little less. Uh, where am I? There to there. What happens if I go around? to there and then take us up and take us across there's a new shape though it's mostly housing that's yeah, mostly housing okay so let's try i'm gonna shut this episode down here soon but just a point in the middle yet still tiny okay no that doesn't work either so you really got to play with this to find just the right combination and maybe the triangle the three sides over here doesn't work in fact it might not what if i were to 
there to there and then come all the way out to uh, we're doing the the orange thing you to you all the way to there and then come down there is a possibility it's it's kind of funky what if we will go to there and come down Eh, no. Anyway, maybe we'll play with this one again next episode. But, yeah, it's interesting just exploring all the different combinations. But with that, I there's probably ten things I was supposed to get done and didn't. But that's how it goes. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.